Hey people, how are you all doing? I have uh, decided to buy this evening. I was so determined that I was going to do, I'm going to pull the trigger, I'm going to buy that YSL loan. I talked to Brother Joshua. He is a good friend of mine from the States. He is a good reviewer and he told me he loves the loan by YSL. For me, I never could pull myself, you know, going towards that direction because what happened with loan is really sad. I heard that loan was never a projection beast or monster and somewhat they did a reformulation on that and it became total water, uh, watered down stuff. Um, for me, watered down stuff, I have no problem with it. I, I'll show you a perfect example. Aqua Digio still performs on me three, four good solid hours. But loan, every time I tried, never performed. And uh, the smell is just so beautiful, but it's just after half an hour, gone. So today I went hunting for loam. I ended up buying this baby. This is loam ultim. Okay, this, I don't know how this flew under the radar and how come people didn't talk about it, not talking about it right now. Maybe just because of the flanker or something. But what I realize is many people don't try it themselves. They just write comments based on assumptions, seeing the notes and stuff very wrong okay uh, I tested few fragrances side by side let me tell you the story I got this from uh, Starly Enterprise again once again my brother's shop and uh, they just had this you know they just brought it I'll show you the full presentation I'll give you my initial thoughts and they brought it and this is like sort of like my one to think fifth uh, YSL fragrance I have Kuros uh, okay I also have uh, Black Opium by the lady for the ladies by the way then I have Body Curos and then the Legend. I have the 2014 uh, La Nuit Alone. So I was looking to add Loam to my collection and I went to the shop. I tried, uh, I think there was a Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. That was very high on my list. I was like, really gonna take it. Sorry about that, some bugs flying around. I don't know where they come from. So anyway, I tried that, uh, the Grey Vetiver. I really love it. I think Grey Vetiver is a masterpiece, but this caught my attention. This was like a brand new and I was got excited. I have it in my hand and I'll tell you. And then I also tried the loan. I tried also uh, Narciso, Rodri Narciso Rodriguez EDP uh, and I ended up buying this and I'll tell you why. Let me show you the packaging. This is uh, the packaging. It says it almost looks like the same like loan box, but it says all team here. If you pay attention, it looks different enough. So it's a flanker of loan. So uh, pretty much it's made in France, but the concentration here is something to note. EDP, uh, which is kind of, I don't know what the EDP, uh, is it justified or not, but okay, why is the logo up top, back there the box, nothing much, your batch code and stuff. Bottle, however, is just the same, same exact bottle design, but color of the juice is different. The color suit sort of like, a, I would say, uh, grayish, bit of bluish, blue tinge to it, uh, very nice color, bit cloudy, uh, lemonade, that sort of a color. If you think of a gray goose martini i think that sort of color but nice looks pretty uh, 50 shades 50 shades of gray the cap is sort of like a uh, plastic nice looking cap got nice detailing ysl inside got decent weight to it but plastic the sprayer on this very very good not bad at all sprays really decent amount and ysl always give you quality okay and uh, if you're looking for a batch code here's the batch code i haven't checked the date release date okay but I checked uh, the perfume for this. So the perfume for uh, who made uh, Loam and La Nuit de Loam, there's I think uh, three perfume, and Filippo, uh, I think there are three, uh, who's Dominic Propion and uh, someone, one more perfume, but that the other perfume is gone from this and then the uh, new, there's a new perfume collaborated with this three, like Mark said, three headed monster, they did this. So this is considered as the flanker of loam and uh, YSL actually like the Lanui de Loam actually is a flanker of loam as well. It's a knight of men. It's a knight version of men. This one got all the love, all the all the hype because of Jeremy. All hail Jeremy. <laughs> this is uh, this got the highest love and got reformulated, got weak. So people are very supremely sad in Bangladesh. They are like we want to buy loam and Lanui de Loam but we cannot find the old formulation. Yes, no shop owners is gonna they're gonna sell you old formulation for that cheap price. They're gonna jack up the price in uh, like Amazon and stuff. They're gonna charge you like at least 150k 
150,000, no, 150,000, 150 US dollars, okay, 15,000 taka. So yes, what's the solution? If you want loam, if you want language loam, those two fragrances one, I think this this kind of like solves both your problems because this one does have good performance. I was quite surprised. Moment I sprayed this on, okay, I didn't get anything on the paper, okay. I sprayed, I'm like, where is the fragrance? You know, I was like, I asked brother Steve and asked him, bro, uh, he, I asked his brother actually. So I asked him, uh, bro, do you smell anything? He's like, hmm, I'm not getting anything. After five minutes or so, this starts opening up. It blooms like a flower. So it has that elements of, uh, I would say language alone, but not as prominent. There's this slight bit of cardamom that doesn't remind me of exactly language alone, but it's nice. It's very uh, floral, but not as weak floral. It's It got potency, okay? So opening up with beautiful blast of grapefruit, uh, it's fresh, it's soft, no alcohol blast, okay? Good things, I'm telling you good things, I'll tell you the bad things. No alcohol blast whatsoever. And uh, it smells different enough from both loam and Lanoid loam. It has its own smell, okay? Yes, it's, it's you smelled fragrances like that before, but it's not like Savage clone or something. So it's, it's sort of like a same line with countless number of uh, loam, Lanoid loam uh, flankers. I think there are like total seven, eight in total. Uh, intense, love, perform, uh, electric, uh, God knows what else is there. Uh, but this one, all team, the EDP concentration, forget about it. It's not, they just write it down just to get your attention. The This is more like EDT, okay? But the performance, longevity wise, it has a soft projection. Let me tell you about projection. Longevity is pretty good. It hangs on your skin for a long time. It can combinely, it, it has the combined part of a loam and language alone of today's formulation. If you add those together, this one, performs better than those both so on my skin if you if you stay in within indoors if you go in a mall or so if there's air conditioning going on office setting it will last pretty decent time okay not maybe the whole day but much better than the current formulation of ys alone and lanoi and the projection quite nice you know if, if there's air like breeze blowing air conditioning going on this would be the perfect ideal close and counter scent as well as office scent i can see it it's very uh, pleasant it's very cozy if people smell this on you i think this is a you if you if you love your hugo boss bottle you can replace that even the loam with this okay and uh, i have another fragrance that i don't have it here right now at this moment that is the arm of niche platinum i think that one is a, i said it's a better clone of loam that one has a bit more spiciness more fruitiness it's more on the casual side this stuff it smells like probably uh, very modern office fragrance and I think easily can replace that Hugo Boss bottle of yours as well as loam performance wise it beats all of those all right so I chosen this I do do my decanting and stuff and I did want to own this okay this actually got the priority over original vetiver not original vetiver original vetiver is from Creed uh, Tom Ford gray vetiver so many vetivers I'm gonna buy the Tom Ford gray vetiver for sure EDP definitely buy it it's a masterpiece uh, that's another great office then but for the price you know Grave Ediver is going to cost you, I think, $110, $120, give or take, because Tom Ford, this stuff will cost you $70, uh, $71, $72, somewhere in that line. Definitely, I'm more than happy to pay it because this is brand new. It's brand new in Bangladesh. I think Study Enterprise, thank you once again, Steve Bhai. Uh, they are bringing all sort of, I cannot stop buying, you know. Please, guys, <laughs> do us a favor. Slow down, you know. <laughs> moment I go there I, I actually have another emoji in mind you know but this is a those for those people this is not a loud screamer I, I didn't buy this for that purpose this one actually is gonna be my uh, uh, sophisticated uh, tender caring side of me you know like tender side of me if I am ever tender which I'm not but if you are a nice guy sensitive guy and you want to give that uh, vibe you are confident okay you're confident you smell nice you smell pleasant you smell safe all that good if you hate safe smelling scents avoid this you're not gonna like it you're not gonna find this ex extremely particularly new genuine or even mind-blowing but yes if you're looking for something that no one's gonna complain about but you don't want to like be so loud like obnoxious like savage same smelling everywhere you can rock this okay if you go to the office work scent perfect you can all around you there'll be nice bubble around you okay so let me alone how does it compare to my beautiful Lanoi Delum? Performance wise, uh, you guys know I love Lanoi Delum. This is my masterpiece of a scent. Yes. When I sniff it, 
this gives like a vibe of a center this there's a rose note very mild rose if i actually talk about rose i have a declaration to swar which i think is a great rose scent but this one doesn't have that uh, prominent rose but there's some florals in between so it's sort of like almost candy like like the whole fragrance and there's a base of woodiness i think it's a cashmere wood or something there's like a woody element to it so it gives a nice sort of backbone very nicely played uh, for the smell i'll give this 8 for the performance i'll give this uh, bangladesh condition if you stay indoors out outdoors it will be like 7 but indoors if you stay it will be like good 8 okay so both 8 projection is like a 7 let's say 7 it's a soft projection but people can smell you it's not a loud screamer um, versatility i think you can wear this all year round for winter our condition winter it's gonna perform really really well okay like almost like lanui delon my vintage my lanui delon let me be clear how much how long it this lasts this one does i don't wear in the summer this one is a winter wearing night time i get four hours this one i think it will beat the performance of lanui delon longevity wise but lanui delon projects much better than lomal team because lanui delon for the first two hours it's magic women smell this on you they just want to bite they don't bite you that's it this stuff may not you know uh, influence them to do that but for sure they want to hang around with you and they, they will think this guy actually has good taste he has sophistication he has uh, he has a nice tinder date profile or something I, not like i ever tried that but this is a safe nice guy mm. this guy actually is good family guy um, not a playboy not running after to get into pants and stuff and clubbing no nothing nasty about it so i think i really like it this is a very handsome smell so this one definitely i'm very satisfied getting it from the house of ysl this one should get more love you know forget about your current formulation of line with alarm and loam throw that rubbish away because those are not worth your penny this one is okay low mall team by ysl so that's my initial impression i really like it overall i'm going to give this like 8.5 out of 10 why because this stuff solves my problem of ysl loam never going to get loam i'm going to get this and rock this i don't go to office but indoors if i want to smell handsome when my relatives or guests come i'm gonna put some of this on not gonna be super loud and stuff indoor i'm gonna be the most nicest guy even though i'm not good night guys talk to you soon bye bye